Well, tonight, the community came together to honor the life of missing toddler Noah Tomlin. Hampton police arrested the, mi the missing boy's mother in connection with his disappearance last night. Detectives charged 34-year-old Julia Tomlin with three counts of felony child neglect. Officials say based on the investigation so far, they believe the little boy is dead. 10 on your side's Tamara Scott shows us how neighbors, friends, and strangers are responding. All week long, countless resources and effort has been put in to find two-year-old Noah Tomlin. Today, we know police don't believe this will have a happy ending, but that has not stopped this community. Today, hundreds of people came out to show love, support, and prayers for this young soul. Prayers for Noah. That's the message on everyone's mind tonight at this vigil for two-year-old Noah Tomlin. We, we hold it in our heart, and I think we always will. With candles and t-shirts and little green ribbons, people came because they feel connected to him. Some who came are connected to him. When I was 20 years old, I gave birth to my daughter. And I asked God, why can I never have any more babies? I had another one. And his name is Noah. Barbie was Noah's foster mom. She spoke on her first time meeting Noah. But he sat on the couch with me and held my hand. And he just grabbed my hand, like as if to say, I know I'm safe. Unfortunately, that sense of safety for Noah didn't last. This morning, police announced Noah's mom, Julia Tomlin, has been arrested in the case. She's charged with three counts of felony child neglect. They also revealed they don't think he's still alive. This isn't the time to hate. This isn't the time to do anything. But praise God that little Noah was loved. So prayers and praise for Noah's short life continues. But this community also knows this can't happen again. It's not the first time this has happened, but it should be the last time it should happen. Speakers commented heavily tonight on their push to change the future. They plan to head a city council with hope there can be changes to child protective laws, maybe even start a new law. So this will never happen again. Noah's law. For now in Hampton, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.